Well, I disagree with the notion, and I must say, damn it, the oil belongs to Namibia. History would tell us that fuel and oil alike have been involved in a lot of turmoil and disasters. But at the same time, fuel is also associated with money and fortune, and is vital to our way of life. Why? Well, everyone needs fuel, making this one of the most demanded products in the world. In fact, people are on their knees praying, hoping, and digging up oil sources one after the other. But the discovery made in Namibia might be the biggest and most controversial in the industry. Most experts believe that this discovery will surely tip the balance and cause chaos in the industry. The question is, why? Today I'll go over the amazing discovery made on Namibia's shores and why this will change the oil industry as we know it. It all started with a small Canadian oil explorer finding a pot of gold. Well, not literally, but almost the same after the discovery of a large oil source in the basins of Namibia. As we wait for the next drill's findings, this small Canadian driller appears to be drawing attention from around the world. Here's how it happened. In April 2021, Reconnaissance Energy Africa, also known as Recon Africa, revealed preliminary results from the first of three wells they drilled in Namibia's 6.3 million acre Kavango Basin. Many of us were taken aback when the results showed hints of a functioning petroleum system after only the first test drill. It was surely a miracle from the get-go that required further exploration. Two months later, on June 3rd, Reconnaissance Energy Africa, or RECO, surprised investors by announcing additional evidence of a working petroleum system in the shallow area of its second well in the same area. Fast forward to 2022 and Recon Africa disclosed that it expected approvals for a second seismic survey and the drilling of three to six additional test wells in northeastern Namibia's Kavango Basin. But according to residents and environmental activists, the firm is breaking the law and putting the environment at risk. But there's more to it than just protecting the environment. Many people believe that people are pulling the strings and making sure that they too can take a dip in the pot of gold. Most of you are wondering why other companies can still call dibs on that specific area. Well, despite being the first one to discover the possible source of abundant oil and gas, other companies can request and obtain a drilling permit from the government. That is how other big oil companies such as Shell and Total Energies were also present in the area. Speaking of Shell, industry insiders revealed that Shell has also made a substantial oil and gas discovery at the now widely watched offshore well in Namibia. They believe that this discovery could ignite a flood of investment in the southern African country. In December 2022, Shell commenced drilling operations on the Jonka 1X. The Jonka 1X is one of several deep wells found in the Namibia basin and was drilled to a total depth of 6,168 meters in a water depth of 2,210 meters. This exploration well is located 270 kilometers offshore of Namibia in the PEL0039 license. If we take a step back, a PEL or Petroleum Exploration License is granted for a period of seven years in inland or shallow water areas and for eight years in deep water and frontier areas for exploration activities as per PSC provisions under new exploration licensing policy. Given the situation, companies such as Shell, who have a PEL license, will be allowed to explore Namibia for a very long time. When asked about the project, Dennis Zekveld, Shell's country chair in Namibia said we are encouraged by a further deep water discovery, our third in Namibia, and pleased to confirm the safe conclusion of the well. Regarding the license, Shell announced that the deep sea bolster semi-submersible drilling rig would remain in the area to drill further wells as part of the joint venture's ongoing exploration and appraisal campaign. But why is this causing such issues? For starters, Namibia does not generate fossil fuels. This is even though its northern neighbor, Angola, is a major oil and gas producer and a member of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, which is why it was big news when companies were able to discover a massive oil supply in Namibia. According to the sources, it's uncertain whether the findings are significant enough for Shell to proceed with the development of the country's first deep water oil field. But it seems like there's an improvement in the situation after two sources revealed that the Namibian government intends to make a statement about the nature of the discovery at the Graf 1 well, which Shell began drilling in April of 2023. 
This was after the industry trade publication, Upstream, reported on the discovery at the Graf 1 well, located in the Orange Basin offshore Namibia and was drilled using the Valaris DS-10 drill ship. To add more fuel to the fire, no pun intended, Total Energies also started to explore the area. The drilling began before the end of February of 2023, according to Impact Oil and Gas Limited, one of Total Energies' partners in the offshore area in Namibia. On top of that, the company announced that it would target up to four wells. So why is this big news in the industry? Well, the findings have revealed at least two reservoirs containing a large amount of oil and gas, according to one of the sources. It was also mentioned how the drilling results revealed one layer of hydrocarbons, which is 60 meters deep, with an estimated 250 to 300 million barrels of oil and gas equivalents. Just imagine how much oil and fuel that means. And you know what oil and fuel means? Money. And potentially a lot of it. If you can't grasp the weight of the discovery, let me tell you that this amount is enough to drive the whole industry into a frenzy. I mean, Shell and Total are racing to make an assessment and hopefully get their hands on it before the news spreads and all other companies try to get their hands on the pot of gold. While neither company revealed the exact amount, Reuters revealed that everything found could be equivalent to more than 1 billion barrels of oil. Aside from the money, experts also believe that this could make Namibia the latest oil producer along the African Atlantic coast. Reports also reveal that Shell and Total Energies are still playing it safe. The companies are cautious but have talked about commercial quantities in billions of barrels. The commerciality is there. They basically want to make sure that before they commit to production investment, they know what exact quantities are there. Namibia Mines and Energy Minister Tom Alwindo told reporters on the sidelines of an oil conference in Dakar, Senegal. But just like they always say, when there is good, there is also bad. In this case, the Namibia discovery is a total red flag for environmentalists. Most of you might be wondering what the fuss was all about. Why is this any different from other offshore oil rigs? Allow me to explain. Namibia is a water-scarce country, and when word of the company's proposal spread, residents raised concerns that toxins from drilling would seep into shallow aquifers that provide drinking water and agricultural irrigation. Conservationists are also concerned that contamination from the test drilling could harm animals in the area, including elephants, Temminx ground pangolins, African wild dogs, and Marshall eagles as well as the UNESCO-listed Okavango Delta 160 miles downstream. Not to mention the big waste on the pits that was seen in a video uploaded on Recon Africa's website on January 10. These pits are used to store mud, fluids and other items that may contain hazardous chemicals or be hypersaline when drilling for oil or natural gas. It is typical industry practice in British Columbia, Canada to line these pits with an impermeable barrier that prevents chemicals from seeping into the earth and groundwater, and these barriers are expected to stop harmful chemicals to seep through. In fact, this is standard practice that is followed by oil companies around the world to keep toxic chemicals away from groundwater. And since Recon Africa is based in these countries, the company is doing exactly the same, and a lot of environmentalists are not happy about it. On top of these environmental hazards, a lot of experts believe that this discovery will tip the balance in the industry. We all know that oil prices are a lot higher because of Russian sanctions. This is why Africa may be well positioned to become a global energy production superpower after the discovery was made in Namibia. However, as net importers, the vast majority of African countries are suffering economically. And as a result, governments have begun to accelerate oil and gas exploration at the risk of harming the environment and massive corruption. Namibia's energy ambitions, however, clash with a global export market that is increasingly hostile to fossil fuel investments. Legal action in neighboring South Africa resulted in a temporary halt to seismic hydrocarbon exploration, while environmentalists pushed against an East African crude oil pipeline that would connect oil reserves in Uganda to a port in Tanzania. And we can't forget about the resource curse. Instability in oil-producing countries such as Nigeria, Angola and Mozambique has resulted in many human rights violations, theft, environmental damage and serious security challenges. This is one of the many reasons why Namibians are starting to get worried. It's pretty obvious that the people of Namibia don't want to experience the same fate, so they hope that their government will learn from Nigeria's example and guarantee that the entire population benefits rather than a select elite. 
While it's undeniable that this discovery will surely transform the economy of Namibia, there are still a lot of factors their government should consider and hopefully, at the end of the day, they choose to protect their people and the environment. Rather than giving away for a transformation in the industry and putting money in the pockets of select few. That's it for today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.